guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to this week 39 of Thursday Weekly Videos. This week is a special one. It's also a special time of the year for me. Um, so it is my 10 year uh, scoliosis surge anniversary. I cannot believe it has been 10 years. So, happy Thursday, week 39 of Thursday Weekly Videos. This video is going up a little bit early, just because I forgot I have to vlog next Thursday um, for the... Uh, 2020 holiday um recap uh of the year thing or 2020 highlights so actually this is not um this week is not my scoliosis surge anniversary next weekend will be my scoliosis surge anniversary but when I was trying to decide when I would be filming those two videos that I told you in last two videos, um, it just came up about what would be easier for me to be filming on for these two weeks, two special videos of mine. So I hope you enjoy and happy 10 year. Uh, surge anniversary to me, scoliosis, scoliosis surge anniversary to me. I cannot believe it has been ten years already. Um, actually, my surgery was on the very last day of the new of the new year, so of uh, December thirty first, two thousand in 10 I was in surgery and I spent New Year's New Year's in of 2011 um, in the hospital recovering from scoliosis surgery so that it has been uh, one of our jokes um, throughout the years this time of the year is a little bit special for me because we we made another milestone um because if you don't know scoliosis surgery is harder than you think and after scoliosis surgery is even harder than you would think my now disclaimer this is this is only my experience experiences and um disclaimer i don't want no hate this is my story of my life this is what happened i don't want no hate and sorry i i wasn't blogging back then because i didn't know what youtube was back then but now i know so i don't have no videos of what i looked back then but I have a few pictures of you can see the uh, the transformation. Um, so let me just tell you the background about how we found out. Um, obviously, I have no video of how we found out because it was not my time to start blogging. I didn't know. Um, what I would be an advocate about. I didn't know what is an advocate back then. So, yeah. And I was a teenager. Now, I know a lot more about my CP and about, uh, and can understand. Um, yeah, this is just my story. So, one day... My mom, I used to sleep with my mom uh, back in our Blaine house, in our old house. Um, uh, 
you guys don't know, some of my family watches this. So, I used to live in an old house before I li- moved back here in my condo. Um, I was born in this condo, but then we moved to my old house that I'm going to talk about it, that all this happened in. Um, but, and then we moved back in 2012 to the same building, um, to give me better education and better resources in the big city. Um, but yeah, so, one day, obviously, I sleep with my mom, um, till I was about... Till after surgery. So, I slept with my mom and every morning she would get me up and rub my back and you know, you know how moms do, okay? And then, um, I'm sure your mom, if you are a special need child or an all ability child, your mom hugs you like crazy and she wants, um... 11s in the morning, and, you know, so, and obviously, I was special needs at that time, and had different, differently abilities, um, but, yeah, so, she was running through my bag, giving me a massage, um, and then she found my mom, found a kind of a protruding um bump kind of a thing like starting to form a curve so like a month later or i think that same day we started to investigate about how We, and what is this? We didn't know anything about scoliosis. I wasn't familiar with scoliosis until I went to my specialty, um, Gillette Children's, um, hospital, where I live here. Um, but yeah, um, so we didn't know anything about scoliosis back then. We didn't know... We knew that maybe your muscles would have grown um, the wrong way. And we knew all of that. But we didn't know about scoliosis and what is that. So a few weeks later, maybe a month later, I don't remember it. I'm sorry. It's been so long. Everything is a blur because I have so many surgeries after that. And so many surgeries before that. But I don't even have video um, f- for that to look back on. Because I wasn't starting YouTube. And I didn't know what I would do. Or how I wanted to express myself when I grew up. When I grew up. Um, so, yeah. I really have been appreciated of the love and support. But yeah, we, um, we went to the doctors a couple weeks, maybe a month ago, um, month. Um, month after we, after we saw that I had a bump in my back, um, so then the doctor took some x-rays, um, and said, you have scoliosis, okay? When I heard that, I didn't know what scoliosis is about. Uh, or is gonna result into me having a back brace. 
or is the result going to be having me surgery? But it turns out I had a back brace for six months. And after that back brace, uh, things just got in very, ver- very, um, not good, very, ver- my curve got very bad, like it worsened, um, even with the back brace. Mind you, nobody likes a back brace. If you had scoliosis, and before or have scoliosis now if you're able-bodied or differently able like me or have able-bodied and still have scoliosis um you probably won't like the brace so i had to have the brace for about six months um and i went I went to my three month, probably three or four month checkup, and the doctor's like, Niha, your back is going to be, uh, have to have surgery, because my curve started at, like, I think it was, like, 60%, 60% curve. Um, or like 30% and then went all the way up to 60 or 80% by the time I went to the doctor again to check on if the brace is helping. But he took some more x-rays when I went back six months later and said, basically, my mom and dad were there uh, and one, um, one of my really close doctors in my mom's family um who has been diseased now um so he was my uncle um but yeah yeah um so we didn't know what to do obviously when i looked at the x-rays I immediately started crying because I didn't know what to do because scoliosis and back severing and, you know, it has your spinal cord and I couldn't breathe at that time um, because my scoliosis went from 30, uh, kind of 60 or 80% to 100%, so it was kind of like... S shape like S shape so or an L shape or like a V shape like a crisscross and my whole stomach went to the left side of my sides um and I had to have a cremated bone um from like my I think they took out the bone from like my thighs or somebody donated um their cremated bones um for their ribs um so I don't remember um obviously I'm sorry this has been too long ago but you just have to take my word for it. Um, and please be respectful. Um, I... So, yeah, I had to have my cremated bone made on my left, on my right side because I was leaning a lot there. Um, and my stomach was going to my left side. Um, and I couldn't breathe. Um, and so we decided that we are going to have a second opinion over in Mayo Clinic, um, up in Rochester, Minnesota. Um, so we did have a, um, 
second opinion. And, yeah, we, the second opinion went good. They said, you needed surgery, you need surgery, either do it here or do it where you're at in the cities. So, I chose to do it where, where I was in the cities at my Gillette Children's Hospital here in St. Paul, Minnesota. But I didn't know that, you know, um, we would have to get a second opinion. So when I was with a second opinion, they're like, no, 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 you're in good hands. You know, do it where you're comfortable. And yeah, yes, you need scoliosis surgery. But do it when you're where you're comfortable. So we did it. Um, at the end, the last day of 2010, and I spent New Year's in 2011. Um, and I remember there was snow outside, snow out, snow outside, um, and my parents decided. I was living in the suburbs back then, and, um, so my parents decided one, one night before to go to my uncle's house that was five minutes away from my hospital, um, so we did that. I, you know, I was in a lot of pain, um, but I was trying to get through it. Obviously, I had a feeding tube um, to kind of gain weight and kind of gain the strength that I needed to be strong for scoliosis surgery because scoliosis surgery is kind of tough, like I already said. Um, But, yeah, that's the whole story, and I'm sorry for the rambling. But now to the fun part. Now you guys can see how it all ended. Um, and I'm now five foot one inch and a half. And when I started this whole journey, I was only 4'11". So I got two or three inches come out, uh, added on to me. Um, because of this surgery, but I'm really thankful that this surgery worked on me because we we were scared for any infection or any, um, other things, um, yeah, any other things or any infections or any complications or any um other pains or you know um now from a hundred percent curvature my back is up to a 30 percent curvature but you can't really see um the curvature right now because um you can only see that 30% in x-rays. You can't really see the 30 the 30% anywhere else, only in x-rays, only when you take pictures. I'm really thankful I made it this far. It's been a tough road. Obviously, um my back gets tight and my back gets tired sitting like this. So I have to stretch it out or I have to lay down or stand up. Um, And you guys know that I have a standing wheelchair. Um, And so, um, and obviously where did, where did they do the surgery from? So they took, took it from, I have rods in my back from the T2 to all the way down to the sacrum um to one level up from my butt um 
yeah, so my my pelvis is a little turned, um, a little wonky, but you know that's life with with it comes with having this big surgery. But I feel much better, much stronger, and much healthier and much um, pain free. So that's what they wanted to do. That's what they did. And happy Thursday week, weekly 39 blog. And happy surgery to me. If you want to say something in the comments and tell me your story, go ahead. I want to hear about what you want to say um, and express your feelings. Obviously, this is my story, my opinion, my life, my journey with scoliosis surgery and having scoliosis in general and how I feel about it now versus how I feel about it then. Um, But yeah, you guys will see the pictures Um, now. I will insert them now. Um, this is gonna be filmed in iMovie. I'm filming right now. It is Monday night on the 21st of December. Again, I said, um, my, from now, um, this video was supposed to go up in 10 days. But I decided to do it a little early because I needed to film another video for recap highlights of 2020. So this is why the videos are going to be pre-filmed from now on till I think week 41, which is... Um, in January 2nd, I think. Yeah, or sometime in the first week of January. Um, but I hope you like this video. And please like, please subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next year. Um, and I'll see you in January. Bye, guys. Happy New Year. Happy surgeries, um, surgery for scoliosis. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate all the love and support this 10 years. Um, for those of you who know me closely, I really appreciate all your love and support and all the family members that been through that with me and all the friends that been through that with me. And all the PCAs and personal care t- attendants. Um, and yeah, that was a rough kind of six months of my life. But we did it. And that's all it counts for, right? Um, I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Um, please like, please subscribe. Stay positive and know that you are beautiful as the way you are. Stay smiling and I'll see you soon. Bye.